Hey guys, enter the stars. And what you are looking at is the underside of the brain. And I believe that Revelation 14 is in fact talking about the underside of your brain. And I looked and lo, the Lamb stood on the Mount Sion, and with him 144,000, having his Father's name written in their foreheads, that is the pineal position. The pineal gland being at the center on the forehead of this face that we see here. The face that looks like the lion face. The lion of the tribe of Judah, which is Jesus Christ. And I heard a voice from heaven and the voice of many waters and the voice of the great thunder. I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, the four beasts being the four lobes on each side of your brain. And before the elders, no man could learn that song, but the 144,000, which were redeemed from the earth, redeemed from the eyes of good and evil redeemed back to the father. Now this is where it gets very interesting. They were they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins. They are they which follow the lamb with her. So ever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto God and to the lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile for they were without fault before the throne of God. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth, and the sea and the fountains of waters. And as we look at these images of the underbrain, we realize that all of these spindles coming up out of the center, these are the 12 cranial nerves on each side. The 12 cranial nerves coming up and around Jesus here. Here you see his legs. Here you see his chest and his face like the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah and his crown, which is all discussed here in Revelation. The third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, you will see, receive the mark on his forehead or in his hand, the mark Xing out, the seal, the seal on your forehead. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb and the smoke of their torment is sent it up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast at his image. The beast being the lobe behind here. These are the beast lobes. There are four beasts, four sections of the brain. Here's the patience of the saints that they keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto him, Right Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest with their labors, and their works do follow them. And you might want to sit down for this part. Because here we see the Son of Man. Behold a white cloud. And of course it looks like a white cloud behind him. The white matter of the brain. And upon the cloud one set like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown. And look on the head of this image, and there is a golden crown. And in his hand a sharp sickle, and we see the arms project out, and we see a sharp sickle, ready to harvest the remnant, the twelve different nerves coming through the cranial cavity to wipe away tears from our eyes 
and to wipe away any negative sensation, heat, hunger, and thirst, as it said in Revelation 7. These nerves responsible for those sensations. And another angel came out of the temple. This is the temple. Crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud. Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And here is the other sharp sickle on the other side which had power over fire and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle saying, thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth for the grapes are fully ripe. And this is the harvest right before your eyes, underneath the brain, two sharp sickles harvesting the earth. And they gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden within the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. And guess what? Your brain size is one thousand and six hundred centimeters cubed from early primates to hominids and finally to the homo sapiens. The brain has grown. The volume of the brain has increased as humans have evolved, starting from about 600 centimeters cubed in Homo habilis up to 1600 centimeters cubed in Homo neanderthalensis, which was the hominid with the biggest brain size. The increase in brain size stopped with Neanderthals. Since then, the average brain size has been shrinking over the past 28,000 years. The cranial capacity has decreased from around 1550 centimeters cubed to around 1440 cubed. And now we get the truth about the throne of God. As we see the armrests, the seat of the brain, and God tucked away in the middle, sitting inside the throne, the sun inside with him. Take care and be safe, you guys.